Hello. Hello. We're here. We're here. We're doing Paper Mario. We're doing Paper Mario. That's pretty much the whole introduction. Yep, pretty much. I slept the whole day away and I'm pissed off about it. We do have the TV working again. Not going to be another Spelunky incident. Yeah, you're not... We're going to hear the audio. Alright. So, where were we? We're in the middle of the fucking jungle. We're starting the volcano is where we are today. So yeah. today's going to be the volcano stream. This is going to be the temple run. Is there a temple or is it just fucking caves under a volcano? Just caves under a volcano. So it's just like natural forming caves and for some reason there's treasure there. Yes. This is... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mmm, delicious crackles. Like an old fucking music box. This is old people gaming at its finest. <laughs> oh, that's a weird place for the spin button. It's a, one of the triggers. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, what else could it... What uh, else I could guess I do have the, the bumpers set to L and R. You know, L, the button you never used on the N64. Uh, or R, really. You don't really... Yeah, R, R and Z were used. In retrospect, the N64 controller was a weird fucking controller. It was, yeah. The whole left third was never really used. It was just the middle stick and the right stick. Yeah, the... The right stick? I mean, then the right... Yeah, like yeah, the, the C stick, buttons. The right prong, rather. It's yeah. like a trident. Yeah, the C button. We should be the... suffocating right now. Yeah. Oh, fuck! This music is awful! I forgot! You getting flashbacks? <laughs> also, the piranha plants talk like robots. It's a very menacing theme. I say, we should be in danger. We should be dead here. All adventures are dangerous, though, so what of it? <laughs> we must press onward toward the glory of an unknown treasure. Good job, Grey Budapest Hotel. Let's do it. Tally ho! Ow! Yeah! What's wrong with this rock? I think it just doesn't like you. Okay, there's just an empty platform. My god, this music blows! Impending death, the theme. At least we have orgasm sounds to keep us company. Oh my god! I hate you. It's awful music. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. One sec. Gotta, gotta adjust my uh, collar. <laughs> Just Mario take it yeah. off his tie. Sneak this on there. Okay, we're good. I oh my god, music I can actually stand. Alright, who are these guys? Lava Bubble. That doesn't look like a bubble. Remember when they used to be called Potaboos? Um. That was Super Mario Bros. 1 shit. Potaboos? Like they were ghost flames? They were the fireballs that popped out of the lava. Oh yeah, that's right. Except that at some point in the Mario canon, their name changed to Lava Bubbles. Well, I mean, do lavas form bubbles? Kind of? I guess. I think bubble is like, that's like a Japanese term for an RPG monster, isn't it? It's used in other ones. I think it's in Legend of Zelda. Uh, bubble? Yeah, Lava Bubble were the name of those skull enemies, weren't they? No. In, in Zelda? No. Yeah. What were they called? The skull enemies? The, yeah, they the called, ones... They were called, like... The ones that fl flew out of lava and were on fire. The, the, I don't remember any enemies in Zelda that... Ocarina of Time. Oh. You were thinking 2D Zelda. Well, what? I didn't walk off there. What was that shit? New enemy, whatever. Oh, you need this. Oh, no, God you don't damn need it, I need shield. both. Spike tops have spikes on top. Duh. Yeah, they're like... <laughs> For, protects against what? aerial attacks. Oh, is it four hit points? Okay, you're going down, buddy. Yeah, you... Armor penetrator. They're so cute, though. Mario's 50 BMG. BMG? Uh, it's a type of caliber. It's basically... Big motherfucking gun? 
Yeah, it, it, it's a round that goes for the Barret, which is essentially a, a rifle designed to penetrate anything. Okay, that it's, sounds like my kind of function. <laughs> the rifle that penetrates it. It's, a, it's the rifle that will pierce the heavens. I was trying to put my badge on, I didn't get there in time. That's fine. That's cool. Do I have a snowman? You do oh, not I have a it. snowman. Do you have a dizzy dial? Nah. Only partners can use items. Yeah. They would be, be totally useless in situations like this. They can in. Uh, okay. That's they can in the second game, can't they? Uh, I think so. I broke the sound barrier with my hammer smash. Yes, you did. Just hammer them, it'll be fine. Things will work out. One. See, it'll do be fine. Okay. So, what were we talking about? The skull enemies? In yeah. I'm pretty sure they were bubbles. They were lava bubbles. They were more like a scarecrow. What? Or, what, what where did they appear? In all fire areas. They appeared in... All in, fire areas! In Death Mountain Crater. They appeared in the Fire Temple. They appeared in Dodongo's Cavern. You're thinking of what? the you're, you're thinking of the wrong guys. I know who you're thinking of, and that's not them. There are sk skulls that run fire. Oh, there, there was also the cursed. Oh ones. wait, wait a minute. There was also the, the blue ones. <laughs> <in> the <laughs> yes, those. Uh, what? Were they, they were lava bubbles. They were called lava bubbles. That's stu fucking stupid because they were skulls. And that's just the name of like apparently like flaming head enemies in in Japan RPGs. I'm gonna grab my fucking phone. <laughs> And my glasses. One second. I need. Oh, I don't. I don't believe you. Okay, I don't have any flower points. Okay, I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sacrifice that. I'm gonna. Where is it? Where? It went somewhere. There we go. Okay. And then. I don't know. I don't know what else to equip. There's nothing too pressing. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll, I know what I can, I'll equip. I'm gonna upgrade my Quake. That's what I'm gonna do. And Jack will be none the wiser. Good news, Jack, the music's still here. Killing fire. Found your phone? Fucking music sucks! Well, we'd better complete the dun dungeon quickly. I say as I grind coins. Okay. Okay, what was I looking up? Oh, okay. We get, we can, uh, we got an ultra block. We can ultra Goombario. Do the it! Mr. Multibonk. The multi oh bonk. gee, I don't know. Last time this was kind of painful. Was it? Grow up, Dumbaria. <laughs> oh, he's grown up now. Lava bubble, or just bubble RPG enemy. I don't know. 
I mean, it could just be in Mario and Zelda. They share a lot right. of enemies. All right, Ocarina of Time. Oh, you're looking at that one specifically. Yeah. Who installs zip lines in this volcano? Was it the piranha plants? Do they like to zip line? Uh. Oh. oh. Okay, you're close. What was Not that? lava bubble, red bubble. I don't think that's right. Uh, hey. no. Okay, so. Yeah, red bubble. Okay. What were the blue ones? Uh, probably blue bubbles. Are you sure? Whoa! Look at the Twilight Princess version! That is a- that is a flaming bat skull. That is fucking demonic! I think those were the only two in Oc No, there are three types in Ocarina. There was the green ones, the blue ones, and the red ones. White bubble, green bubble, and blue bubble. Oh, and white ones. Yeah, the ones without any kind of, like, fucking aura. No, they had aura. They had aura. They just, like, zipped around. Their aura was like a comet. So there's a what defensive what was uh, that? fire shield. It's a badge that increases your defense against fire attacks. But you already got the ice. Weapon, yeah, so. I'd rather have more attack than defense. Yeah. That's just the way I roll. The Kenpachi method. Well, Kenpachi's kind of got both, even though his defense comes from his attack. God damn it. Oh boy, am I needed again? So, um... Here's a question. Have you ever heard of, uh, Good Times Entertainment? No. They're, uh, they were, a. Uh, Is that a porn studio? No, they were a production company that primarily focused on, uh, uh, children's animated cartoons. Okay. And, uh, and they favored a production company. <laughs> and their production company was called, <laughs> and I'm not making this up, Fucking jet lag. Okay. Jet lag. That's a very flattering thing to name your company after. <laughs> jet lag. <laughs> like it favored their company. What was this company they favored? Uh, Were they like a? No, it was it was a production company. It was like you know like an actual animation studio. Oh okay. So the animation studio is called Jet Lag, and and the producers were these other. Were people. good times. Okay. They yeah. were, they, the, the distributors were good. Yeah. Called good time. They did this one called. Wasn't that a sitcom? Good, good time. Happy days. No. Good. Maybe I don't. There, there are so many of them. I really should not have Gumbario out against the fire enemies. Nah, uh, he's he's pretty much useless here. He needs a stronger hat. I need to upgrade his hat. Did you have more to your story? Well, I was thinking we should watch one of their, uh... Um, I mean, we could. What Are they American? What country are they They're from? American. Uh, are they known for anything in particular? Uh... No, but... There's one called, uh, the... The Legend of the Snowman, or some, something to that effect. And I think that was the name of an Urusei episode. Well, the thing is with this one is that, uh... How yeah. do I explain this? It's very, very bizarre. Yeah. The plot. It's like, literally, the first part is like. No, he's just gonna fuck off. Yeah, he doesn't want to give up that sweet, sweet EXP. The first part of this episode, uh, this series, or no, what is it? No, it's a movie. Oh, it's the first a movie. part of the movie is uh, is basically um. Like the like parents talking to this doctor and the doctor. This is like that room in Zelda, except a lot easier. You got and the we got a hammer. Here. We got the megaton hammer. Yes, it can destroy metal. That's how powerful That's it is. So it begins with Just... like a doctor talking to this this couple, and they're like, all right, "What's wrong with our child? I don't know. I've never seen a disease like this before." If, I think if she makes it till to Christmas, she'll be all right. Balto? No. <laughs> you not just Balto. the plot of Balto. No, it's not Balto. And then they're like, "Well, is there anything 
that that we could do to get her better? Well, she has to want to get better. <laughs> no joke, that's an actual like. I mean, that kind of true for a lot of those cases, but <laughs> for a lot of what cases? Like, like cri a, cl a critical illness. I don't know. She didn't seem that ill. She just seemed kind of bedridden. <laughs> Okay, so, so it's just vague plot illness. Yes, yeah, so the sister's it's apparently sick, and the only way she can uh, she can get better is if she is, is if they trick her into staying alive till Christmas. Yeah. So, so the brother finds out about this, and it basically goes. Uh, so she has to get the spirit of Christmas in order to give her the will to live. Yes. Pretty Sounds much. like a happy premise. So they. <laughs> So then the son decides to build like a snowman. Yeah. Outside the window, and uh, <laughs> and and he name you know what the he names the snowman Olaf. No. Uh, I don't I don't know that. Snowden. Okay. And he's it? dressed like a fucking church going with glasses too. He doesn't look like a guy who would like leak a bunch of information. Yeah. Set <laughs> Snowden. And then, uh, and so it's like, it's a very, then it begins, it's very fucking, it's very fucking weird. Yeah, I and mean, it sounds it, I guess. It still sounds like Christmas Balto. It's not Balto, because there's no fucking, because if it was Balto, they just cheer the girl by using some of their fancy Balto drugs. Yeah. Here, it's just like, there's nothing, it, it, like this family's that family's full of anti-vaxxers. Yeah. You know what those oh, are, and, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what, what's your opinion on that whole thing? I don't really have one. Okay. I don't care enough about it to have an opinion. Did you ever, you, you, did you ever get vaccinated as a kid? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to glory. How'd you get past the lava, buddy? Oh, he, he walked. He floated on his shell like a rowboat. <laughs> you just kind of... Treasure, old boy. I already got treasure. Oh, no! <laughs> Wow, you work, felt very... Colorado, you broke it again. You fell very choppily, Colorado. <laughs> Alright, there's someone who's a high priority for this dungeon specifically. Sushi? Yes. You really want to waste it on sushi? Well, get, there are more. Right. There's still one waiting for, for us in the sewers. Who else are we going to upgrade? Paracarry? <laughs> Good joke. Totally unrelated to anything we've been talking about, but, uh... Uh... uh Fist of the North Star is coming to Adult Swim. Oh, really? That's yeah. awesome! Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. It's not Fist of the North Star. Oh, don't tease me like that! JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay, fuck yeah! Still pretty awesome. That's still pretty awesome. I actually don't know which one, which one I would prefer, Fist of the North Star or, uh... Oh, wait, one second. I'll just... Yeah, this isn't a very intimidating boulder. <laughs> it just vanished. It wasn't very important. It got a low self-esteem and it fucked off. Whoa! Welcome to the lava sea! Wanna swim? I'm joking. What the fuck? I don't know, maybe Gumbaria was using his, like, big, b audacious voice? Maybe. Want to swim? That, that was I'm his all hail Britannia voice. Oh. Welcome to the lava sea! All hail Britannia! All hail King Koopa! <laughs> that, was, that was one of the best parts of Code Geass when that when fucking Christian Freeman just flew in and was just like, All hail Britannia! The most dynamic entrance. <laughs> they see Zero, it's just like, I beseech you, Zero, please die! <laughs> there are a lot of great dumb moments in that series. Yeah. Was that really dumb, though? Okay, a great theatrical moments. Oh, yeah, no. Unnecessarily hammy, perhaps. Yes. 
that series, it, everything was totally necessary. If it, 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 it didn't, if it was more reserved, it wouldn't be a good series. Let me just say that. Yeah. Everybody was all morose and serious. The great thing about that series was that everybody was just going all out all the time. Yeah. We don't have. Wait one moment. What do you what? According to the information I've gathered, from where? Uh, You've been talking to the robots? He stared at the wall. He was like, aha! I figured it out. We tried nothing. We we're all out of ideas. I was going to say, we we didn't put the Code Geass characters in Artificial Academy. Uh, yeah, but then that would be a completely different uh it was Academy. a very fan fan servicey series, despite its despite the things it did right. It had a lot of very form fitting shit. In yeah. It. Oh, another one. Just step off to the side. I'll just watch. Hi! I'm getting the impression that Colorado is not very smart. No, no, it's all that all that fucking heroin really messed with the system. Yeah, they were all you fucking junkies. They were all dr drinking laudanum. You inject heroin, right? You can't snort it. You, you can do both. Okay. Uh, you, you snort heroin. You're gonna. Nigel Thornberry for... inject uh, or snorting heroin. That'd be a lot at once. Yeah. Actually, I get think... it because he's got a big nose. Remember in Pulp Fiction that one woman's that one chick snorted heroin and she like was fucking ODing, so he had to he had to, he had to take her to her dealer's house and then they give her some uh, some adrenaline. Yeah. And then they were both go home and they're like, we should never speak of this again. Yeah. That did happen. I think you can't, it's, I, my point is I think you can't snort, actually snort heroin. Okay. I think I'm wrong. Well, I mean without ODing. Yeah. Don't OD on heroin, kids. No, you, you do it at safe level. See, this is what we call harm reduction. Uh, I'll sleepy sheep right now. I'll get rid of Frightgar. Because you don't want enemies to run, you don't get the EXP. It makes sense. It seems to be nothing. Let's head back the other way. This will make sense, more sense for him to be here if this was a fucking temple, but it's not. It's just some caves. Kalima. Yeah. Day. That was an example of a, a good example of a temple. This does sound like music that could have been in Temple of Doom. No, it couldn't have! No? Temple of Doom had better music. It was more theatrical. This is just like... Oh, I thought you meant like it was like threatening. I didn't think you meant like it was badly composed. This is like the electronic equivalent of thrash metal. I don't think it's that bad. Mario still approaching. Identified as searching for Star Spirit. Code Red. I, I, I think they're supposed to sound like like cavemen. Go Red! <laughs> reporting to boss! <laughs> I, that was kind of a caveman, kind of angry Japanese dude. One or the other. What were Japanese cavemen like? That's a good question. Like, like we, we know, we know, like. I'm sure that information is somewhere in the annals like, of history. Like, North American and, and like, shit. Are they? Mostly. Oh, it's... Well, I mean... Like, ori original human history is like in the Middle East, What so. the... Yuck, 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 You beat it, Mario! I'm gonna imagine this guy sounds like Krusty the Clown. <laughs> you guys! Bad guys! Bad guys come to steal Star Spirit! Oh, <laughs> uh, so this guy's simple. Yeah. Okay, what do you got, right. Mario? Wow, this is a real. This was a really short dungeon. I guess it had to be yeah. short after all the work we put into the jungle. Also, if it was like five hours with that kind of music, people, the suicide rate would go through the roof. Yeah, it's a big flower. That's all goombario has got for me. It's a big flower. That's pretty much it. I guess it still does more damage than. The oh right, I should have. Uh, I should have taken those out. What the... The buds. Oh, yeah. God, I'm not good at timing that slow one. Oh, no, you're at half HP. 
by the power of four! Oh, you I'm, missed! I fucked it up. I ruined it. Good job. All right, better summon the deep one. Oh god, I can't. Are take you gonna this. die here? I hope not. Okay, no, I'm all right. Well, you better heal up. God damn it! You, you really, you really screwed the pooch on this one. I need to relearn the timing. Oh, that's a lot of... Do Dude, I... that's the one that crashes the game if you do it too good, right? Yeah. Okay, I need. I don't want to do it, but I need to take out those bugs. Go, go. Oh my god! I, I... You're, you're terrible at this! I, did, I don't have a C stick. I don't have a C area. I have to use the stick. It didn't even work. Good job, hero. I'm trying my best. Your best isn't good enough! Yeah, I did it. Oh, I didn't tattle on the buds. I got this, I got this, don't worry. I just need to summon, summon Mustache God. I think five it's getting HP. more... A whole 5 HP! I think it's getting That's more a... stable, it didn't break the game that time. Yes. Okay, I've got the C stick ready this time. There Thank we go. you. Oh, the deep one is is causing a ripple in space. See what I did there? Yep. I saw what you did. Good job. I want to like you know refresh every round until you're like up to max again. Or or, or you know you could just. Uh, oh, I can't tattle on them when they're out. Oh, it's a fine. It's not like there's a fucking hundred percent completion. But I have to tattle on everything. Uh, yeah, you also had to, you know, play better. But we no, always... no, you, you worry too much. I needed the handicap. No, you see, oh, when Kampachi does, says it, I believe him because otherwise the fight would be over in like two seconds. You. <laughs> There we go. Got come back, damn it! Dude, it's too late. They're not gonna regenerate. But they have to. That's okay. They'll regenerate next turn, and it'll be just enough to to take care of it. Thanks. Are you are you sure they'll regenerate next turn? Yeah. You don't sound too sure. See, I got it down. Oh, come on! You wanna, you wanna wait for him? You are wait. Oh my god! God, these things are sissies. Out of the, out of commission this long. Jesus Christ! I shouldn't have waited. I should have focused. That's what I should have done. For, forget it, Jake. It's time. It's time to time. No! Oh wow, that does restore a lot. God, that okay. Jake, it's Chinatown. Forget it. No. Do I have any? I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> Maybe I can put her to sleep. I have an egg. Fine. Uh. Oh, whoa. That. I just got Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Okay, that, that's cool, Scout. That's a good game. It got. It holds up. I feel. I mean, it hasn't got Skyrim depth, but then again, that's weird because it's like I, think I, I don't know because that can't, that can't be because uh, Bethesda was doing that open world stuff long before Ocarina of Time. But you mean like with Arena? Yeah, with uh, Arena and uh, and Daggerfall. Were those before Ocarina? I actually legitimately thought this was over. Yeah? I forgot. No, that would be far too easy. Rock, 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 rock. Hey, now I can tattle on them. Do I you want to, You have eight though? hit points. Good luck. Yeah. Goddamn. 
fine. No, wait, I don't want to. I want to use Mario's turn for that. I mean, I didn't say not to. I'm just saying. They have eight hit points and they spit fire. There you go, everyone. Uh oh. Oh, shit! We shouldn't have summoned the deep one. Jesus Christ, and this is only at six. <laughs> that glorious one frame a second. Ooh, don't summon Cthulhu, kids. <laughs> this is bad for your health. That's okay, Cthulhu's known for being powerful, not fast. This is less Cthulhu and more Douglas Adams, honestly. Douglas Adams? A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> is it over? A ripple in time. Whoa! Oh! Nice! Nice! Okay, it recovered. Reality is back on track. Colorado to the rescue! Oh, <laughs> did you not- oh, Yeah! <laughs> Man. Useless to the bitter end. I'm so sorry, old chap. Just grab a shotgun! They not exist in your world? Colorado, the newest Spelunky character. We gotta do that after this. Yeah. Uh, it, it I broke its legs and now I'm beating up a cripple. That's how this fight is, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, no, they revive quickly. Well... Good news, you got Gumbario out. How much hit points does it still have? Oh, it's got like... Three. A lot. Oh, seriously? I didn't think they'd... I thought they'd stay down longer. Before you were like, I, I don't... I wish they would come back, and now they're back, and you're like, nope! Here we go again! I'll be right back. Okay, go get a... Go make a sandwich or something. <laughs> I gotta clean up. So how are you guys? Doing, doing well, I, I assume. Uh. I played some awesome knots today. Is it over yet? Still going. God. At least the music's not playing. We beefed up Goombario in reality, just couldn't take it. Too much power at one time. These things happen, I guess. Goombario's bizarre adventure. You think if I installed an N64 processor in my computer, this would improve? You think if I installed a Nintendo 64 processor in my computer, this would improve? Uh... Obviously, it's got to be way I mean, more powerful than mine. If I had N64 hardware, it'd be perfect. Literally, the time it took me to find my fucking glasses. Yep. Oh, my God. Just as you get back. Welcome to the wonderful world of unoptimization. <laughs> See, it's a good thing we got through the dungeon quickly, because this boss battle is going to take five hours. Nah, we're fine. Woo! Bonk. Five damage. Wow. Yeah, single hit attacks aren't great on partners. Just fucking ignore him and... I'm just gonna bounce on him. Because he's on fire, it'll deal extra damage. Oh no, he's not on fire, so... I don't... No, I, ca I can't do hammer throw. All or nothing! I know what I can do. You could just score him. Oh. Okay, it is on fire. YOLO! Should I risk it? Y you have no choice! If it's fire type, then I think I can just jump on it. Yeah, I can. Good. That would have been a bad risk if it hadn't paid off. As is the case with most risks.
I just killed a, a big dumb guy who was getting used. Yep. Well, that's that then. We beat Olmec onto the treasure. But meanwhile, we rescued a god from a volcano. We rescued a glitched card! Whoa! Oh, wow. We're not actually saving spirits, we're saving like seven demons, that's why the cards are black. That would be a great twist. Man. Mario uses. That would be a great Mario game. Mario accidentally uses the power of demons to beat Bowser. <laughs> and then they betray him and they're the real final boss. Oh, wait, no. No, here's the thing. Mario uses the power of demons accidentally, gets possessed. And you play as Bowser trying to destroy the, his demonic connection and then save Mario. I mean, that's one and game, Peach, yeah. I, yeah, that'd be the great, like, you know, twist is that Bowser becomes the hero because he's. At least he's not a demon. Venturing deep into the steaming Mount Lava Lava, Mario and friends plucked the lava piranha and rescued the fifth star spirit, Mr. Hello Lady, from a fiery face. But the treasure Colorado is looking for is yet to be found. Wherever could it be? Something strange is going on around here. So say Captain Quark! Oh, wait a minute. That was a Captain Quark voice. Yes, something strange. The chapter's not really over. See? Now the music makes sense! You know what? It ruined it by- Oh my god. I mean, volcanoes are pretty scary shit. You know that. Yeah. I know that. I was scared of them as a kid, but... She looks pissed. Treasure! Oh. It's some sort of starfish. <laughs> Fascinating. She looks unimpressed by him. Yeah, she looks generally unimpressed. The adventure's ever over is the No, the adventure is over when you're when you're having a feast. Yeah. It's one piece logic. What the fuck? Oh, new music. The last music wasn't uh wasn't t intimidating enough. Oh no, it's just sped up. <laughs> Thrash metal! <laughs> yeah! This guy mashing the keyboard. <laughs> Koopa wave. This is the Nightcore version. Mario, can you blow up this wall? Well, I've done all I can do. <laughs> We're doomed! <laughs> oh, daddy boy! Are you actually waiting for the, the duck for No, it won't rise up. We're, we're gonna die soon! No, we're not. We're actually kind of fine where we are. Oh, it is? You sure about that, buddy? What do you have to say, Goombario? What's your analysis of the situation? This place is shaking. This so is not good. good! Good analysis, Goombario. I feel safe. Oh, no! I'm not safe! Oh, it is rising! How, oh, shit! How far will it rise? <laughs> Dude! Dude, no, don't risk it! Don't risk it, bro! Dude! Hey, what's gonna happen? Am I, are they gonna make me start the boss over? Yes! Fine. You're boring. <laughs> You're suicidal! No, the treasure! You can't resist. I'll risk my life for that treasure! What was in it? You... Pot. <laughs> it's a stash of laudanum. Okay, I, I don't do a good enough Nigel Thornberry. You just gotta have a regular bridge adventure. No! It's simply not smashing. Oh, enough. you'll find out. Oh. How long have we been going for? We've been going for only 40 minutes. <laughs> so I guess I'm we're surprised. doing the page section. Yep. Gee, I hope Mario's not fucking around in a volcano. That'd be stupid of him. It's... <laughs> I asked you to stop calling. Never mind. I'll just whatever. What's what do you want, princess? <laughs> like calling a fat dude with a beard bear. Hey, bear! That, that's very offensive. I'm, I'm sensitive about my weight. Peach loves to be delicate. All right, let's go for it. 
What are they? What, wait, what's she doing? She's going to go decorate the castle. I think she's just going to just to wander around and fuck with Bowser. Oh, so just let's see like, what kind of trouble like, we can stir up. She's like, what's Bowser gonna do? What's the worst he could do? Send me back to my room? Bowser is kind of actually an intimidating villain because he never really does anything to the princess. He's just like, you're mine now! Well, nothing, <laughs> nothing on camera. He doesn't do, she, she doesn't, he doesn't do shit! Yeah. I mean, she doesn't act like... Like somebody who's been through enormous trauma, she's still wandering around. He's like a really stern father. Pretty much. Just like, now, now, Peach, I don't want you seeing this boy. Bow and I want you to go to bed. Now in Paper Mario 2, the role of Bowser will be replaced by Toadsworth. <laughs> Same fucking role, basically. <laughs> Princess Peach, how'd she get out? Oh, my, is it Friday again? That time of night already, huh? Well, you got a grip on yourself, okay? No need to panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. Yeah, this guy has it all figured out. Like, what's what she? Th the fuck's she gonna do? What's she gonna jump? She's in. She's in. <laughs> like, we're we're better <laughs> off than Alcatraz. <laughs> Then again, I guess if Mario floated down, she could too. Well, yeah, she just got that parasol, so you just. She's also. Da, da, da. She's also the floaty bitch, even without pa being paper form. Yeah. Peachy. What do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? Oh, she's good. Oh, God. This is a hentai plot. We need a third person. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? Were they just gonna fuck each other? They're like, oh, thank God, a woman. It's not gonna feel weird now. You, you've been listening? Come this way. We won't ca tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us with this little game we're playing. Yeah, yeah, you're... <laughs> the the, the dumber. <laughs> By the way, wh why were you wanting that sax music? Oh, no reason. No, you, you fucking tell no, me. No, 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 it's gonna be a surprise. See, here's the thing. You come knocking at my door at 1 a.m. For me, it's no big deal because I'm nocturnal. But for you, that's something. It was very urgent. Yes. I needed to know a specific saxophone solo, and you didn't 60, know. I had to look it up myself. The 64th trivia quiz off. <laughs> it's a trivia quiz. Mr. I'm, Hammer. Mr. MC Hammer, if you Mr. will. Mr. Hammer sounds like a, a hitman wearing a suit, just like... He's the MC. MC Hammer. Can't touch this. Stop, hammer time. Did I get all the memes from that? I uh, pretty much. Okay, good. They're all the pants. Hammer pants. Hammer pants. I'm gonna ask you ten questions, and the contestant who gets the most right is our winner. See, that doesn't sound... Ten questions for the 64th quiz off trivia game? This is a lot of setup for just ten questions. Well, there's, there's more, and you, you just... You, was, what was that show? 500 questions? That was it, right? The fuck... 500 questions? I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, it was like a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire kind of spinoff. It was a qu quiz show that ran for, you guessed it, 500 questions. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano on Lava Lava Island? I allow Chrome to record... I 500 questions quiz game. I'm actually psychic. 500 questions quiz game. You can mute the TV if you need to. No, I, I don't want to. Peach is actually psychic, little did you guys know. <laughs> Where did Huff and Puff seal the star spirit? Toad Town! What if there was one at Goomba Village? Uh... I don't know. We go back and we find it destroyed. That would be a JRPG plot. <laughs> this is actually an elaborate plot to see how much Peach knows. What is the name of the scary monster in Dry Dry Ruins? Chunk. This is like a plot to... Still got a chance to make a comeback, you losers. So if you just hit five questions and get over it, then you're just, it's over? Nope. How do you get to Flower Fields? Cry. <laughs> it's like the end of the Pokemon movie. That's how things get done. Oh, wait. This Rocket is actually how you find out how to get to... Yes, it's exposition. That's clever. What's the name of the person who King Bowser really loves? King Bowser. Oh, no, that's not there. Uh, Cami Koopa. <laughs> he loves me! <laughs> Everyone loves me! 
<laughs> he loves me, and I'm using that to my advantage. Aren't I a bitch? What thing is most deeply related to plower fields? Gee, I don't know. This <laughs> peach is literally thinking, going, are you dumb or something? Those two Koopa patrols want to impale me right now. <laughs> they look so humorless. What's the name of the most admirable, invincible guy around? Okay, I'll suck his dick. <laughs> See, well, if you're gonna be a spy, you gotta you you gotta you can't fall go in line. Yeah, you can't be a halfway spy. Name for the ghosts who live in and around Forever Forest. Eeries. <laughs> I'm a ghost. <laughs> Use your memory on this one. Just south of the post office in Toad Town. Uh, the flower garden. Final question. You can still win, guys. He's still <laughs> going as if there's any chance. Well, he doesn't pay attention to this one. Where is Princess Peach's castle? In the groundwater. What? what? <laughs> is there a contamination of Peach's <laughs> castle in the water supply? It's filled with so much sugar, it's giving her maybe diabetes. It's all that. It's all that bakery runoff. Those toad caps are actually growths. <laughs> but those two are actually just cardboard cutouts. See, that was. That's the why trick. they didn't answer. Hey, we'll give you some jam and jelly. It's been grand. Meanwhile, Bowser is just like it all worked according to plan. Now I know what your next move is. Here's your prize. Of a fabulous parasol. We got the sneaky par- Oh, we can solid snake now. Well, she can just grab onto the parasol and float down. Hey, I escaped. You can use it to transform into people. Yeah, that's a good thing to give a prisoner. He actually just doesn't give a shit. He does- He's not even affiliated with Bowser. He's just, like, a third party. See, I'd rather play the game where Princess Peach actually, like, works her- stealths her way out through the castle. The just is, kidnaps one of Bowser's vehicles and meets up with Mario on the surface. Oh my god, just take just take the plot of Solid Snake and have it be redone by Mario characters using Mario, uh... I mean, I've never played Super Mario Princess Trump. Peach. I didn't hear a lot of good things about it, though. Um... It was very gimmicky. Yeah. That was around the time of Yoshi's New Island, I think, which was univer pretty universally panned. Yeah... A lot of, a lot of, like, experimental Mario games were panned. Because yeah. Because they were, like, too weird. I'd, I'd be down for a, like, a, a less... Maybe a more inter... I'd like more interesting Mario games other than the usual platformers. Yeah, that's why Paper Mario and, like, Super Mario RPG worked really well. Yeah. Uh, but Super whereas... Paper Mario didn't really work well. Sticker because... Star did not. No. Or Super Paper Mario, honestly. I mean, it was an okay game by itself, but it... You know, it wasn't a Paper Mario game. It doesn't feel like it. Did, no. Um, I'm trying to think of a good. Hmm. Yeah, just just Paper like a Mario Stealth game starring Peach would be cool. Just War Wario World was kind of a mix on the formula because it was still a platformer, but it was more about brawling than platforming. Okay, dude, you take the plot of uh, Metal Gear Solid, but instead of having Mario play the Snake character, you have Peach play the Snake character. Yeah. Peach. I mean, that's basically what the Peach segments are. They just need to go ham it up, bring it up to 11. Yeah, just have, have Twink be the fucking uh, mission control. We just got a call girl, by the way. Yeah, you... We can summon her to kiss us. It's a better heal. I'm Eros. I, of course, we would get we would get the kiss for health from the Spelunky dungeon. Kisses in Mario are basically the equivalent of fucking somebody. Yeah. I mean, this game is very chaste. It's like, that's the riskiest thing you could do. And then, yeah. You basically, some, get, you basically get get gained a call, call girl god. Get the treasure and then let's go. Yeah. Let's go without actual treasure after getting this treasure. This is Splunky Day. Yeah. If you couldn't figure it out, we're gonna go do some multiplayer Splunky after this. Yes, I even found my... Uh, oh no, wait, I can just use the Steam controller. I got it. I'll, uh, I'll grab it after this. That's gonna be really fucking difficult to play. Oh, you tried it out? It doesn't want to map to the SNES emulator properly. Yeah. Like, it's weird. What did I tell you? Volcano base. What Hot. does it do? 
Oh, yeah, you're right. Pot! Fuck! That was the joke. It was a pot all along. Okay, what does that actually do? Well, it, it impresses Nigel Thornberry. Hey, I got you your treasure. What you, will you give me, give me for it? How on earth did you... Well, I suppose that's of no consequence. You're, You're just... giving it to me? Yep. Oh, glory marvelous! Dear man, you are quite simply the cat's meow! What the fuck? Don't you... Cheers! And he looked sad for a moment. I suppose. It's only proper I give this to Let me give you my seed. <laughs> it's shit! Oh, the bulb gave it to him. It, it's secondhand seed. Second hand. We gave him pot and he gave us seed in return. Yeah, so we can grow our own pot. Yeah. Second hand. Okay, we're gonna save and then we'll return to Toad Town next time. Yes, and then. Well, I guess we'll take care of the, all of the in between stuff. Yeah, probably. I don't know how much there is before uh, flower fields. Well, uh, we'll see. We can. We have sushi now, so there's a lot of places we can swim to. Oh yeah. Fuck. Don't make me hungry for sushi. I can't afford it. <laughs> All right, stick around. We'll be back in just a minute with Spelunky. Just a minute. I'll grab the controller. <laughs> <laughs>